Sweden's strategic push to secure the Philippine Air Force's PAF, multi-role fighter, MRF, acquisition project is intensifying with the scheduled visit of Swedish Defense Minister Paul Johnson to Manila on June 5, 2024. This visit is part of a broader Asia-Pacific tour that includes stops in Singapore and Australia, demonstrating Sweden's commitment to strengthening defense ties and promoting its military capabilities in the region. Minister Johnson's trip will feature participation in the Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore and bilateral meetings in Canberra, before culminating in crucial discussions in Manila. The MRF acquisition project is a pivotal component of the Philippine Air Force's modernization efforts, aiming to enhance its air defense capabilities with the procurement of at least 12 new fighter jets. The competition for this contract is fierce with bids from major international defense contractors including Saab, Sweden, Lockheed Martin, USA, KAI, South Korea, HAL, India, Dassault, France, and the Eurofighter Consortium, multinational. Sweden's bid, centered on the JAS 39 EF Gripen, showcases an aircraft renowned for its advanced technology, operational efficiency, and cost effectiveness. The Gripen EF, an evolution of the earlier CD models, is equipped with cutting-edge avionics, superior combat capabilities, and enhanced performance metrics. These features make it a formidable contender in the Philippine Air Force's selection process. Minister Johnson's visit to Manila follows a recent engagement by Brigadier General Ola Holtgren from the Swedish Ministry of Defense who visited the Philippines to engage with Philippine Air Force officials and underscore the advantages of the Gripen. This high-level diplomatic and military outreach highlights Sweden's proactive approach to securing the contract. The Gripen EF is particularly appealing due to several factors. First, Saab has 14 new but unfinished airframes available which aligns well with the Philippine Air Force's minimum requirement of 12 aircraft. This ensures that Sweden can meet the immediate demands of the Philippine Air Force, providing a quick and effective solution for bolstering the Philippines' air defense capabilities. Financial considerations also play a crucial role. While the unit cost of the Gripen EF is higher than some competitors, such as the F-16C, D Block 7070 Seconds Viper, Sweden may offer more flexible financial terms. These could include a tailored logistics support package that fits within the Philippine Air Force's budget of 61.2 billion Philippine pesos, potentially making the Gripen a more financially viable option in the long term. Moreover, the potential for technology transfer and local production capabilities is a significant advantage. The inclusion of these elements could lead to cost savings and enhanced self-reliance for the Philippines, further strengthening the case for selecting the Gripen EF. Another critical factor is the delivery timeline. Saab has indicated that the initial batch of JAS 39 EF Gripens could be delivered within a year of the contract signing, with the remaining aircraft following within two years. However, should the newer Gripen EF variant be selected, there might be adjustments in the delivery schedule. Saab is currently ramping up production to meet existing orders and anticipates being able to prioritize the Philippines' order, potentially delivering the first batch by early 2027. The Swedish offer not only addresses the immediate needs of the Philippine Air Force but also aligns with its long-term modernization plans. The Gripen EF's superior capabilities and operational efficiency make it a strategic investment for the future. The Swedish government's active promotion and dedicated diplomatic efforts underscore their commitment to securing this contract, which could also pave the way for future defense collaborations and acquisitions. Minister Johnson's visit will likely involve detailed discussions with Philippine Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro Jr focusing on the specifics of the Gripen EF offer and how it aligns with the Philippine Air Force's strategic goals. 
the visit will also coincide with the Swedish Embassy's National Day celebrations, providing an opportunity for further diplomatic engagement and showcasing the strength of Swedish-Philippine relations. In summary, Sweden's concerted efforts to secure the Philippine Air Force's multi-role fighter acquisition project reflect a comprehensive strategy that combines high-level diplomatic engagement, attractive financial and logistical terms, and a superior aircraft offering in the JAS-39 EF Gripen. This multifaceted approach aims to position Sweden favorably in the competitive bidding process and support the Philippines in enhancing its air defense capabilities for the future.